What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp speed tip for you. So in this video, I wanted to talk about another way that you can model faster in your SketchUp models. So in this case, we're gonna create a building using repeating components so that we don't have to remodel the same geometry over and over again. Um, so I'm gonna speed up. I, I wanted to do something a little more in depth than just uh, the normal boxes and cylinders and stuff. So we're gonna kind of speed model a building and I'll kind of talk you through what I'm doing as I do it. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training in SketchUp. So if you wanna take your SketchUp training to the next level, um, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this case, what I did is I picked a building with kind of a repeating facade where it has different bays that repeat over and over again. And the reason I picked that is because it's perfectly suited for modeling with components. And uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of components because what they allow you to do is they allow you to make changes to one um, instance of a component and the others update as well. So you could see how as I copied this wall across, for example, and I made a change with that, that the other one adjusted as well. Well, what that does is that allows us to repeat things so that if we need to make a change, we don't have to go back in and remodel everything in the model. Um, so you could see there again, I, I adjusted these walls down and because they're instances of the same component, the right wall adjusted with the left wall. And so what I decided to do in this case is I went and I modeled each one of these bays as a component. And so what, what I did to start with is I just wanted to kind of model the facade and the brick material and then also the glass material. And so to model the glass material, I used a extension called Lattice Maker. And I've talked about Lattice Maker before. I will link to it in the notes down below. But basically what Lattice Maker does is it allows you to take faces and actually create like glass facades from them. So what it'll do is it'll allow you to set an offset value as well as a depth and it'll add like a color as well as a um, like a glass pane. Um, so you can see how colors are added. It kind of offsets everything and push pulls it. And then um, from there you have kind of a nice glass material. And you can see how what I did in this case is I actually made a copy of the glass from the right hand side and I made it a component and I copied it over to the left hand side. So if you were watching closely, you could see how when I applied that gold material to it, it adjusted on both of those instances of that component. And so now what I did is I came in and I used another extension called Instant uh, Fence and Rail from Valley Architects. And we've talked about that on the channel as well um, in order to create the railing. And in this case, you don't need to use that extension. You can use an extension like Profile Builder or you can manually model this rail. It's kind of up to you. I like to use extensions like this one if I have them because they're a huge time saver. So as I went through and did that, um, you can see how you can see how I kind of have my bay roughed out. I have everything kind of the way that I want. Well, now what I did is I took this and I actually made it into a component. So I called it balcony and then I made copies of it across. And you can see how when I make copies of it and I initially made too many copies, so I had to do it again. But you can see how as I made those copies inside my model, um, I'm able to kind of build this facade without having to remodel these over and over again. And so one thing about these though is they offset. And so what that means is your ends are a little bit tricky because you can't just repeat the same component over and over again. So what I did is I took this end component and I just right clicked on it and I selected the option for make unique. And so when you make something unique, you basically break the link between this component and the other ones. So I was able to safely come in here and kind of cut off the edges and the faces that make up my railings and everything else in order to build this end piece. So you can see how I just kind of drew faces through here and erased out all my extra stuff allowing me to build an end piece. And then once I built one end piece, I could make that a component and then I could make a copy of it and move it across the model to the other end. So you can see how I copy this across and then flip it using the scale tool and then I move it down. And you'll notice that there's some things that aren't necessarily 100% right, like there's not a wall on the other end. So you have to go in and make some manual adjustments and there's some trial and error involved. I can honestly say that I didn't plan for everything that happened when I did this. Um, like for example, this wall needed to get moved down and across so that everything was kind of symmetrical. And you can see how there were some alignment errors as well. So it never comes in perfect the first try. But 
um, you can kind of work with it and make it look the way that you want to look you want it to look and you can see how from there I could just take a row and just copy it up in order to create this repeating facade and so for this particular model because I was more demonstrating the components all I really did is I just drew a box behind it and I applied brick to it so that we could look at it from the side you could get as in-depth with this if you wanted you could get as in-depth with this as you want to. You could even go in and model the rooms off of these independent components if you really wanted to, to create like a cool rendering or something like that. In this case, all I did is I just moved the face that was behind this back a little bit so it wasn't blocking the glass. And there you go. We've got a repeating component facade model in SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is there something about this that you'd like to see in more depth? Do you like this style of video? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week uh, if you like what i'm doing in this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys